Uh, my guest now, we, we just had a bit of entertainment there. Welcome, first of all. Uh, my guest just played a tune there on the harmonica just before he came on while we were waiting. And Dave whispers in my ear, as he does every week, quiet, please. So you can play in my guest, who is the one and only Kevin McCann from Belturbet. Uh, the McCann name is synonymous with music and drama, especially in the Belturbet area. But Kevin has a new venture. Kevin, you're very welcome. Thanks, Paul. Great to have you here. Thank you. The new venture is you're making a film. Yes, indeed. Volkswagen Joe. Volkswagen Joe, yeah. It's a, it's a half-hour drama um, based on a play written by my father, Brandon McCann, uh, who's a playwright uh, from Baltorbert, as you mentioned. Um, it's an adaptation of his play, and we're making a, a, a half-hour drama uh, in the first week of June of this year. So uh, that's what I'm here to talk about. Whereabouts, Kev? Well, it's a play based in the border region, um, so it'll be filmed in Cavan and Fermanagh. Right, around the Baltorbid area? Well, around the Baltorbid area, the Canoli area, perhaps a bit of Swan and Bar. We're still looking for locations, so it's all, uh, it's all up in the air yet. Right, Kevin, let's, uh, let's start at the very beginning. Right? You have the story, you have your script and everything. And now, what, what happens next? You're a producer of this. Yeah. You're the producer, so, so you are the man, basically. You, are, you're the, you call the shots. Well, to to well, the creative lead would be our our director uh, yeah. Brian Dean. Um, I would be helping Brian, you know, make those creative decisions. Uh, that's my job. But I suppose the process started uh, a number of years ago in the Baltorba Drama Society. We decided that we needed to have a venture that promoted our society and got new members in and got interest in in drama in in the area. And the society has been running for, you know, for, for, for decades. And we thought that we should perhaps try to make a, a, a film version of, of one of the plays that my father has, has written. I mean, he's written uh, dozens of plays. So Volkswagen Joe was one of them. Uh, Damien O'Brien, a great director here from, yeah. from Calvin, from Calvin Town, directed it for the, uh, as a, as a theatre play. And it reached the All-Ireland Finals and won lots of awards. So... It's a, it's, a, it's a very important story about conflict in the border region. So we think it's perfect. What, what era is it set in? Is it now time? Is it 1980s? It's, it's the 1980s. It's, it's around the, the hunger strike time. Yeah. So it's a time of high tension in the border region. And uh, our central character, who's Volkswagen Joe, has a... Has a uh, Tell us a bit about Joe. Well, Joe is uh, a car mechanic, number one. He's also a Volkswagen enthusiast, hence the name Volkswagen Joe. And he runs a garage and he fixes up cars for the, the, the local vintage club. Um, in walks uh, <laughs> the devil or the demon and puts him in a dilemma and uh, Joe has to decide what he wants to do. Right. He's put in a situation that he never thought he would he would have to do. He he was a not a neutral, but he had uh, you know he had fixed the cars, the vintage cars, for all sides of the community or both sides of the community. Right. And one day he gets a proposition from the local Republican force to say we're going to put a bomb in that inspector's car and you're going to do nothing about it. So, he's like it's, it's heavy stuff. Yeah. Oh, very much so. Yeah. It's very, it's it's, a, it's real drama. Like there's no comic element or anything like that. that uh, no, not this one. No. Is is there a start, middle, and end? Yeah. At the end, will you go? Oh my God, that's a nice nice twist at the end, or is it? Well, we have a we have a jo we have a justified ending for the for the drama, which 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 we're which we're happy with, and uh, uh, Joe doesn't let either side down he's a he's a he's a humane person and uh uh yeah it's a it's a it's a strong drama but we hope hopefully i mean the border and calvin especially has been rep represented very well recently in 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 drama you know in terms of philip doherty and will govan is doing things and karina and kathy are doing things with drama yeah so we're hoping that you know uh, we can do our bit to 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 help with uh but this is this is a massive project isn't it for making a film like do you take it from do you, do you think of the, the the drama production 
the theatrical production and then say, right, let's put it onto cellulite. It's not cellulite anymore, whatever it is, you know, mm. but, you know, Video, do, you, yeah. do you think in that term? Well, yeah, we, we, uh, we definitely knew that it had to be ad adapted for the screen. Yeah. It's, a, it, it's a, originally a 45 minute one act play and now it's a 26 minute uh, drama for TV. So it's gone through about, uh, I would say, easily six or seven drafts. Is uh, Dad on board? He certainly is. He yeah. certainly is. He, he's, he's been consulted. Brian Dean, our director, has met several times with my father and also the writer, Ma uh, Matt Roach. Matt Roach is uh, an up-and-coming star in, 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 the, in, in film, both yeah. nationally and I, I would suspect uh, predict uh, in internationally. He uh, he has been uh, charged with uh, adapting the play for the screen, and he's done a he's done a terrific job. Himself and Brian are are well. Ed, I know that people all over the world are watching, and of course, Kevin is the son of Brendan McCann, who is synonymous with drama and magnificent playwright in his own right as well. And this is this is great for him, isn't it? You know, it's great to see his work put onto film. Like you know, it'd be sure. Marvellous for him. Ah, it, it it is. No, it's it's wonderful, Paul. Yeah, uh, for him. But I mean, no more than yourself. Uh, Phelan Cox, your father, yeah. was a, a great, you know, a cultural icon of 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 the area. Yeah. And I suppose we we think of our fathers in the work that we do. And That's I suppose it, yeah. I thought of my father very closely in this one, and and saw that um, it was uh, important that uh, a film be made of his work because I mean I do value it. I think it's I think it's. Uh, important record of of to dramatize what happens in the border area mm -hmm. and and I should also say that um, uh, we're very pleased to have um, Anna O'Malley as one of our producers yes. Anna worked recently on uh, the film with uh, Kevin Allen did uh, called oh, yes, Flat Lake. Yeah, yeah yeah the Flat Lake film Anna yeah. was working on that so but she's in a bit of trouble at the moment with yeah. production and stuff like that. Not production, I've seen a, a couple of rushes now. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's all ready. But back to your own one. Now, you've got the funding. Yeah. you got the money. And where did you get the funding from? Well, we're very p uh, pleased to say that uh, we got it from Peace 3, uh, cross-border funding. After a long, hard battle. It has to be said <laughs> because, you, as, as we know too well, you can't just walk in and get money off these people. And you've had a long, hard battle with them. Well, it's been it's been it, there's a, there's a process yeah. <laughs> with, uh, with 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 getting the money and uh, myself and uh, uh, Claire Madlaid and Paddy O'Reilly from the from the Drama Society um, have done our best to try and uh, secure this uh, backing from Peace Three and uh, Jane Crudden has been very kind in in, in supporting our, our our project. So yeah, we're really looking forward to it. But I mean, the, our, I suppose our main issue at the moment is. Yeah. Getting cast. Yeah. What What you need now is cast and whatever else. Mm. So the floor is yours now, Kevin. There's that green light. <laughs> you can sell your wares. Right. Who are we looking for here? What are we looking for? What are the type of characters? Because there are an awful lot of people will be watching and will go, that's the job for me. Will you be holding auditions and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. We're holding auditions in... You're not looking for a small, grey-haired, good-looking man, no? Uh, actually, we have a number of roles, Paul, that you would, you would, I think you would... Fit well, perfectly, yes. And we have a. Uh, 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 he's, what, I don't know what his, his his description is inside, but he's, he wants to play one of the British soldiers. Okay. Uh, he's big enough, <laughs> and he's bold enough as well. Right. Okay. Right, Dave. <laughs> right, Kevin. Uh, tell the people there now what you what you're looking for here now. It can be done. Thank you, Paul. Well, we're looking for a cast for a half hour drama called Volkswagen Joe. The main character is Joe. Joe is a male, forty to fifty. Uh, we would describe him as a gentle giant, but anybody can play Joe to a certain extent. He's a car mechanic, uh, and he's lived in the border all his life. So ideally, a, a gentle giant, but we're, we can we can we can consider other uh, other types of characters. Madge is Joe's co-worker and unrequited love. We're looking for a female, thirty-five to forty-five, to play that role. Inspector Sam Johnson is an RUC officer, Joe's neighbour and a uh, fellow vintage car enthusiast. That's a 45 to 50 year old. Mac is an IRA member. So we're looking for males, 35 to 45 to play that uh, character, Mac. Fitch can be described as a scheming rogue. Uh, males well, Brian Daly, that's the part for him. Okay, will I put his a name down? Scheming rogue, yes. <laughs> Just write that name down right now. Uh, Fitch is a scheming rogue, 25 to 35. Could, does Brian oh, Fitch that's it, that's, he's out. Yeah. <laughs> 
Anne uh, is Joe's sister, uh, female, age 35 to 45. Maura, Joe's mother, uh, we are looking for an, o a, an older lady there, 65 to 85. The inspector's wife is one of the smaller roles, but important nonetheless, 35 to 45 year old. We're looking for a barman, uh, characters in the bar and British Army soldiers. So um, our casting dates are the 4th and 5th of May. Um, we're going for the 4th of May in Cookstown and the 5th of May in Belturbet. Right, you'll repeat that again now. Just so the 4th of May in Cookstown. Where about in Cookstown? Uh, it's, uh, I think it's called the Bournehaven Arts Centre. That's or It's very close to there. Uh, hub... BT40. It's, it's an open casting, yeah? Yeah, open yeah. casting. I mean, we're not looking for... Uh, it, you don't necessarily have to have experience in, in, any, in any form. Right. We want people that perhaps have just aspirations or a desire to uh, put across a considered border performance. This is a very serious drama. We're taking it very seriously, and there are a number of fine actors here in the area that we yeah, would yeah. certainly be, be looking at and be interested and, and hopefully that all the actors that, that you and I would know will, will, will come to those editions. So the 4th in Cookstown and the 5th in Belturbet, between 12 and 6 in, in Belturbet at the railway station. Where about in Belturbet? Yeah, at the railway station. The railway know? station, yeah. that'd be good, yeah. Mm. And will it, will it be like a screen test or will you have uh, yourself, the director and somebody else like... Yeah, it's, it's, it's an audition. For anybody that hasn't been that's thinking, oh, I'll try this, you know. The experienced actors, of course, will know what to expect. Yeah. You know, so do you think that I get about part of the script and you say, well, read that, we see what that's like? Well, if those people that are interested in auditioning for these parts can get a copy of the script before they attend the audition. So they can turn up to the, to the audition and say, I'd like to read for the part of Fitch and also for the part of Matt. How do they get a hold of the script? They can get a hold of the script by emailing us and asking for yeah. a copy. So our email address is VolkswagenJoe2013, which is the numbers, at gmail.com. So VolkswagenJoe2013, 2013 at gmail.com. And Volkswagen is spelt with an E, not the, I think. Yes. I don't know, is that? It's, it's, it's the, the German. Not the, not the wagon wheels wagon. No, no, it's, no. it's, it's v o l k. S W A G E N and it's Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Mika told me that. <laughs> Kevin, the best of luck now. Thanks, Paul. Luck. Thanks very much and for having us on. We will have Kevin back in. Uh, we want you back in to tell us how it's going. Thank you. And when you get people, when you've uh, everybody cast and everything like that, we'll do a special on you and just see, see how we'll follow it bit by bit just to see how you're getting on. Thanks, but I mean, I think the important thing is getting cast. Obviously, anybody who's interested in working on, on, on it as crew or production can email that, uh, uh, that, that, that address uh, as well. Also, I suppose it would be nice if we got some support in terms of uh, sponsorship or any, an, anything like that would be, would, be, would be very useful as well. So I know th times are, are, are difficult for everybody yeah. at the moment and we don't expect huge gestures, but anything at all... Everything helps, yeah. Everything helps, indeed. Because it is a massively costly business. Yeah. Making an Amdram is costly, but they're make, making a film and then the post-production and everything that goes into it afterwards and, and all that stuff like that. Sure. But look, we'll have you back in. Sure. At the end, in June. We should be finished around June. Excellent. Excellent. Right, have you, what about Facebook page, anything like that? Will you have all them things coming up? Uh, we will, but we're just working off the, off the email address at the moment. Uh, Brilliant. And, uh, and that's where you can get all the information. Finally, Kevin, just give us the email address again there once more. Volkswagen. Joe, 2013, at gmail.com. Kevin McCann, excellent stuff. We'll keep in touch about Volkswagen Joe. I'll be back right after the break with JJ Jubilee. Thanks, Kevin. Good man. Thanks.